In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, peace be upon you, O Messenger of Allah, peace be upon you, O Beloved of Allah. Peace be upon you, O Prophet of Allah, peace be upon you, O Light of Allah. Respected listeners, I am Sayyid Mubashar Raza, present before you, bringing forth lectures on Islamic beliefs regarding the finality of prophethood and discussions on various topics related to Qadianis. You have been watching and listening to us on khatm e Times and khatm e Forum. Respected listeners, the topic under discussion today revolves around a statement of Mirza Ghulam Qadiani. He has mentioned such a thing in his book that makes us laugh and yet grief at the same time. Mirza Ghulam Qadiani states that it has been prophesied that a black prophet will emerge in India, i.e. a black-skinned prophet. Now first of all, I am going to bring the statement itself before you and thereafter we will analyze and discuss the statement. Here before us we have Ruhani Khazain, volume 23, the 23rd volume of Ruhani Khazain. Ruhani Khazain is a collection of writings of Mirza Ghulam Qadiani and altogether it is in 23 volumes and this is the final volume. We will open up page 382 of this volume. I have mentioned this countless times before in the past that the references which we provide you with can be found on the official website of Ahmadis Mirzais Qadianis. Rohani Khazai has many editions. However, we will provide the reference of the statement from the latest edition of Rohani Khazai. You can find this edition on www.alislam.org in PDF format as well. I would recommend that you download the PDF uh, for personal investigation to the matter we are about to discuss, especially Ahmadis who claim that we present the statements of Mirza Qadiani without contextualization. The problem is that we do not have enough time to read the entire book cover to cover and present it on the video. Thus, in short span of time, we can only discuss one or few statements. However, if anyone has any objections regarding what we present, we are most welcome to challenge our views. Now, you can challenge our views on any social media platform such as Skype, WhatsApp, or Google Hangout or Telephone and you're most welcome to correct us in case you think we have misrepresented Mirza Ghulam or even lied against him. I have Ruhani Khazain, volume 23, page 382 open before me. What did Mirza state? Mirza states that once a question was asked to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, regarding prophets from other countries. Messenger of Allah was questioned regarding prophets from other countries, meaning prophets from uh, outside the Arab Peninsula. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, replied, that in every single country there had been prophets of Allah. Now just to mention that uh, in the book, in the text, uh, there is no peace be upon him written but I mentioned it and added it myself. Now straight after this, Mirza Ghulam Qadiani write a few words in Arabic indicating towards an other hadith in Arabic. And the words of the hadith are كَانَ فِي الْحِنْدِ نَبِيًّا أَسْوَدَ اللَّوْنِ إِسْمُهُ كَاهِنًا These are few words in Arabic uh, and I will present before you the, the page itself so you can see it for yourself. The Arabic translates to that there had already emerged a prophet in Hind who was of a black complexion, Hind meaning uh, modern-day India, 
so in India, there had already emerged a prophet who was a black prophet and whose name was Kahin. Meaning Kinya. Kinya is also known as Christian. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, was further asked, Has Allah ever conversed with anyone in Persian? He replied, Yes, Allah has conversed in Persian also. For example, Allah says in Persian, now this was the narration which Mirza Ghulam Qadiyani attributed to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. Bear in mind that this statement is only according to Mirza Qadiyani, who is the leader of the Ahmadi cult and his followers deem him as a leader, prophet, messenger, reviver, the promised messiah, incarnation of Jesus and they give him countless other titles and the titles which he himself claimed. So now we have these two narrations which Mirza Ahmad Qadiani quoted in his book. Out of curiosity and for analysis, I searched for these two narrations in various book of hadith, such as Sahih Bukhari, I looked for them in Sahih Muslim, in Abu Dawud, I searched for these two narrations in Dirmizi, Ibn Majah, in volumized hadith books, in small books of hadith, in old books of hadith, I searched for them in new books of hadith. However, I was failed to locate these two narrations in any book of hadith. I could not locate these two narrations anywhere. Now since Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani has stated this narration where companions asked a question to our beloved of Allah, peace be upon him, and the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, answered their question. Now although Mirza Ghulam Qadiani did not explicitly say that this is the hadith or it is found in hadith books. However, by default, any quote of our beloved of Allah must be, hadith, must be a hadith and it also be found in a hadith book. However, we do not find this narration in any single book of hadith. Allow me to share a narration with you. Okay. This narration is found in Sahih Bukhari and Sayyidina Hazrat Zubair mentions that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said that whosoever attributes a lie against me, meaning that if somebody knows that the Prophet did not say such a thing, but he says the Prophet said such a such or Prophet did such a such. In fact, Messenger of Allah did not do this. So the Messenger of Allah says, whosoever attributes a lie against me, something which I did not do, then that person should see his place in the hellfire. He should see his place in the hellfire. So, this issue has already been addressed by the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, for anyone who lies against him. And it is also true that Mirza Qadiani also uh, falsely attributed these two narrations to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him meaning that there had emerged a black prophet in India, that's one narration he lied against, the Messenger of Allah, and the second narration he said that Allah converses in Persian and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, gave a revelation uh, in Persian. This is the Persian revelation. Therefore, the viewers can judge this by themselves. No argumentations, no fights, these are pure facts. And after knowing these facts, if one does not accept them, ignores these facts, or opting for argumentation and verbal abuse, then unfortunately we cannot help such a person. These are facts that you can't go against. 
My Ahmadi viewers listen to me very attentively, as well as their well-known murabbis, i.e. the Ahmadi scholars. However, till this day no one had the audacity to confront us with an answer. Rather, we get to hear from the Ahmadis that, oh, we have given answers to all your objections hundred years ago. These are not new objections that you bring forth, rather they're old and we have already answered them. Well, in that case, why don't you repeat the answers which you claim to have given us hundred years ago now? Tell us, which Hadith book can we find these two narrations in? All the least you can do is blindly accept that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, was indicating towards Mirza in the Hadith. Now, since Mirza Qadiani lied against our Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and falsely attributed something which the Messenger of Allah did not say, you must therefore answer us. Now, these were some of the facts that we presented before you here. You can see the statement on this side of the page. Respected viewers, these two narrations mentioned in Ruhani Khazain, volume 23, page 382, are most certainly a lie. It cannot be found in any hadith book. This narration is not authentic, nor weak, nor can be found as a fabricated narration in any hadith book, i.e., in other words, Mirza was the first one to fabricate and bring this narration forth in his book. So why did Mirza Ahmad Ghulam Qadiani mentioned all of these fabricated narrations in his book? The problem with Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani was that he had abundant claims. He had countless claims, claims upon claims, claims upon claims, and those claims were without any evidence. There was no evidence to back them up. So therefore, he would make a claim and thereafter to lure people in, to believe him, he would provide false narrations and false evidences to back up his false claim. So he would state something like, oh, the Messenger of Allah said this, oh, it's, it's stated in the Hadith. Qadian was a very small village. The inhabitants of Qadian were illiterate people. Uh, those of you who know or have some knowledge know the background of Qadian and its people in Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani's time. There were less houses, less inhabitants, and most of the inhabitants were farmers who had no worldly or religious education and they were far away from the religion. Therefore, if anyone comes out with a claim and comes out with such narrations and fairy tales, people would not hesitate to believe such a man. They would look at look at his external features, i.e., he wears a turban, he wears Islamic clothes, he has a beard also, and externally looks like a pious man. They would believe such a man without any hesitation. When such things were recorded in books and were published, the learned man, i.e., the scholars of Islam, took a serious notice of this. When scholars of Islam questioned the writings and claims of Mirza, Mirza, due to obvious reasons, were unable to answer them and was unable to defend himself. Least Mirza would say, oh, that Allah has revealed this narration to me and that narration you won't find them in books. Exactly what we get to hear from Qadianis today. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani has made up thousands of false narrations and claimed that they are found in the books of Hadith. He even went as far as to say that such and such or so and so narration it is found in Bukhari, it is found in Muslim, and so and so narration it is found in Tirmizi. However, when we trace his references, by far we cannot find anything. This was the state of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiyan. Speaking of his claims, yet we find another claim of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. Mirza says that Hindu deity Krishna, now Krishna is somebody who the Hindus worship. Mirza calls Krishna a prophet of Allah. And he also stated that Krishna is me. Bear this in mind. He states that Krishna is me. Mirza Ghulam Muhammad Qadiani claims to be that Krishna. Now it is possible that some might doubt what we are saying and claiming. 
So therefore, let me provide you with the reference. As we have discussed already, that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani said uh, the black prophet who emerged in India, whose name was Kahneya, later this term was developed and became from Kahneya to Krishan, uh, and then elsewhere he claimed that that Krishan is me. So this was purely to entice Hindus and attract their attentions towards him to gain followers. The book is open before me on the computer, Rouhani Khazai, volume 20, page 228 and page 229. You can read this for yourself. I have given you the reference, page 228 and 229, volume 20, Rouhani Khazai. He explicitly mentions, like this, I am incarnation of Krishna. These are the words of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. This Krishna, which we just spoke about, uh, Mirza Ghulam spoke about him, i.e. the black in prophet who emerged in India, according to Mirza. Furthermore, he clarifies this issue even more on page 229. Mirza states that my God, Yalash, my God, Yalash, has revealed to me that, O oh, Krishna Rudar Gopal, your praise has been written in Gita. Gita is a Hindu book. Now here, I, I have mentioned another term, Yalash. Our recent viewers may not be familiar with this term. Our former viewers who have been watching us for a very long time uh, are aware of this term. So to clarify this matter for the recent viewers, I will present before you another statement of Mirza, Rohani Khazayim, volume 17, page 203. Mirza states, As I was writing this text, God spoke to me and said, Yalash is God's name. He says, This is a new revealed word which I haven't found neither in Quran nor in Hadith nor in any language book. Its meaning, Yalash, is purely revealed on me and no one else before me. You can see this for yourself by going on the Ahmadi Qadiani website, alislam.org. Rohani Khazai, volume 17, page 203. Yalash is Mirza's God. Yalash is the one who reveals revelations on Mirza. When Mirza is questioned on his authenticity, he ignores the question by merely stating that Yalash has revealed it to me. It is not found anywhere else. It is told to me that it was in Bukhari, Muslim, Tirmizi, etc., etc., and later people took it out. This is a method of deluding people. If any Ahmadi is aware of this news, which Yalash, uh, the god of Mirza, he is also your god, of course, uh, you should also address him as Yalash. Do not call your god like Muslims, Allah. You should address your god, Yalash, Allah, and Kalu. Mirza even stated that his god's name is Kala and Kalu. I know Ahmadis are unaware of uh, such facts, so I will leave out the reference for this for now. If you desire to know the reference for this, you are free to contact me on Skype and on Skype we will discuss the matter face to face and if possible we will also air this live on the internet. I am 100% certain that even uh, Mirza Masrur won't accept my challenge. Your Khalifa Mirza Masrur due to fear and anxiety. The fear and anxi anxiety of being exposed to the world will surely hold him back. And such a person cannot do anything. And such a person is only good for hiding himself, keeping himself safe. We find many examples like this, such as coming up on Facebook, um, you know, leaving negative comments on our videos, and never to be seen again. Or sometimes coming up on YouTube, leaving neg negative comments on YouTube, swearing and abusing us, and then never to be seen again. Never face to face. Never have they come face to face no they ever will they will merely swear hide behind their keyboards anyways the crux of the matter is that mirza ahmad ulam qadiani attributed lies against the messenger of allah peace be upon him by narrating regarding the black prophet and other narrations 
the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, never said anything to that fact. However, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, did say that whoever attributes a lie towards me, he will be in the hellfire. Therefore, in the light of this narration, Mirza Ghulam Muhammad Ghaliani will be thrown into the hellfire. If any Ahmadi wants to uh, save Mirza from the hellfire, its only solution is that you bring forth the references for these two narrations and discuss it face to face. Do not abuse, do not fight us. We are not those who abuse and fight. We clarify things by dialogue, discussions and debates. You live in America, Germany, Canada, England, etc, etc. and proclaim that you are Muslims. What kind of Muslims are you? Your God is different to Muslims. Your Prophet is different to Muslims. Everything you believe in is alien to Islam. Then why do you still proclaim to be Muslims? If you claim to be Muslims, and the fact that you are wearing this uh, attire of Muslims, metaphorically speaking, then come and challenge our objections. Answer our questions from perspective of knowledge. Thank you so much um, for listening. I am eagerly waiting for your reply. And lastly, for our listeners, subscribe our YouTube channel. Tell your friends about it. Everyone should subscribe. Atman Nabuwat Times. We have a group on Facebook as well as Qadiani Munazra group. Join that also. Add your friends in it also so that people can benefit, benefit from this. We also come live on every Saturday on Hidayat Radio, which is a Canadian based radio channel. According to the Pakistani time, we air on at half 10 and 30 till approximately 12 12 15 in a program called Anwari Khatmin Nabuwat. Please tune into that program. You can go. Uh, you can go live and ask questions. We do not have any pro any problems or issues answering your questions, even if you are Ahmadi Kadiani. Please ask your questions. Wait for our reply, and also wait for the questions we may ask you before you put down the call. We also publish monthly pamphlet by name of Al Khatam. Kindly read through that also. We are worried due to uh, the lack of funding, uh, so please bear that in mind and kindly donate as well. We have other ideas and activities for Khatam and Nabuwat. For example, we are also planning to launch Khatam and Nabuwat TV if Allah wills. We have placed our hope in Allah's mercy and help. Soon we will launch Khatam and Nabuwat TV. Please follow us closely, pray for us, help us and share your opinions with us. Please kindly rem remember us in your supplications. I am Sayyid Mubashir Raza, founder of Khatam and Nabuwat Times. I was your host. If Allah wills, I will come back again with a new program, a new topic. Please stay tuned. Peace be upon you all.